Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and we have our first guest that wants to stay, Gubia. Uh, Gubia is a pretty good fighter, creepy breathing perfectionist, decent at crafting, so we can have him help out there. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and accept you. Cool. Um, do we want to make a little custom outfit for him? So... We have Cobweb and Pantha pretty much in the same gear, except Cobweb's rocking a duster. Nina grew to an adult, so this is Pantha's first child uh, with, oh my gosh, with Malaya. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so we have her in the composite gear as well. I guess since he is like part of the colony um, and a unique story, maybe we'll go ahead and give him composite gear, but we'll... Give him like a cloak or something instead of a duster. Um, so let's cue some composite gear up. Let's go ahead and dot, dot, dot. Let's grab cobweb. Let's do a sign. Wait, where did Gubia go? Actually, let's do cobweb edit. We will create a duplicate. We'll name this one Gubia. Duster, let's replace it with a cape. Cool. Let's make a cape. <laughs> cape, and let's make it out of Dura fiber. Let's make sure we aren't recycling capes, right? We aren't, cool. So last thing to do, let's switch you over to this apparel. Set you to attack. Oh, we need to convert you. Let's get you a weapon. We have we have a carbine we can give you. That's what most people have. Uh, what is it? Cobweb's still rocking the VSS blaster um, that we started him with. Pantha, I switched over to a sniper rifle, and Nina now has his VSS blaster. Um, we did get this ship built. I think we're a little low on resources here. Yeah, we need steel, we need supply steel, we need components, um, all that fun stuff. We should get it pretty quickly. Uh, we just need our crafters to catch up on some things. I think they're working on hypertech components right now because we built a ton of turrets. We're working on some for this side and then we'll get back to manning this front line. We're pretty well secure from raids and whatnot um with our proton artillery anything that like comes in on the sides of the map uh, pretty much gets decimated before it gets to us we still get into defensive positions and every now and then something might make it close enough for us to shoot at uh before we turn the proton artillery off the one thing that i am a little bit worried about is security can we make shields we can make shields if we get a drop pod raid in the base that would be pretty rough uh okay so the shield is we'd have to put a couple of these up in order to get like full base coverage you can see like the the lines there the white line i think is the max if we go to hypertech and go to security do we have the hypertech shield generator researched we do and it covers it covers plenty where would we stick it? Like right here would be great. Do we have the middle of the base still marked? We don't. Oh, actually we do. It's these blue squares right there. Um, Let's like smack dab in the middle of our dining area. Could be fine. It covers the turrets. It covers most of the base so that if a drop pod were going to come in, it would like land in these fringes um, or it might land up here. And I think that's better than inside the palace itself. What if we like slid it back there? That's still covering the front turrets pretty well. Man, like right here gets those front turrets. Actually, like we can move the shield a little bit, right? So... Yeah, because we're able to, like, put it off axis. What if we go ahead and put it here? Like, I want to preserve that hallway a little bit. So let's do this. So... And then 
we'll move dining down a bit uh, and we'll stick it right there. Like it'll go right in here. Yeah, so we just need to move the tables and whatnot like two over. So if we do this, actually, if we just line the tables up with that, that'll be fine. Other things on the docket for today are our servants still recovering from rebelling. Um, we had some prisoners die to heat waves because uh, we didn't have a door built. So heat was just like leaking out. So we're down to just like two prisoners. Uh, still no sign of any rancor. Not since like that one time they appeared on the map. And we can hire our pirates again. We're a little low on silver though. So we might need to do... We might need to do some trading. So we have... Um, we have some mech chips from some Diabolises that decided to like drop pod in and uh, get destroyed by our proton mortars. Uh, and we have some other things that are like pretty high value that we can go ahead and trade. Uh, so I'll get that trading done and we'll rearrange the the cantina, the the mess hall, whatever we're calling it. Okay, we're up to I think like six thousand silver. Let's go ahead and we are gonna hire in those mercenaries we're just gonna see if we can finish off that base that we <laughs> weren't able to get to before oh we have redone durgo's throne room a little bit we moved most of the drapes uh here into his bedroom we put up some reliefs we have some art we got him a huge stellic throne okay so what if we do 10 of you guys for a day it's four thousand um Okay, 12. What did we send before? We sent seven before. Um, do we send 12? We could. That feels pretty excessive. Let's send the nine, because that's what we had mentioned before. Uh, and we are sending nine of the more expensive ones, right? So are they all here? Uh, why did we only get seven? Seven of you guys this way. I feel like these pirates are, <laughs> are trying to cheat me a little bit. Okay, so let's, let's do this. We can... Uh, pirate. If we just like rename them all, they will be easier to find and load. Okay, most of these guys are armored though, so that's great. Um, really? I only got seven? Okay, well, let's go ahead and load you guys up. Let's load up the pirates. Four, three more, and a droid. GB, you will pilot for them. Oh, he was right there. That's great. Okay, let's take a look at the world. Let's where was it? It was right there. Okay. Other side of the world. Launch. Let's drop in at the edge. What? There are the other two. <laughs> Why did I not see them before? That's so annoying. Okay, whatever. Um, we'll come back when they land. Okay, we have landed, and basically we're just going to load GB up right away. And send him home. So that we don't lose our ship this time. And these pirates can just, like, figure out their own way home. Um, you guys. Let's head in. Get you guys grouped up. It doesn't look like we have anyone like lagging this time. Let's go ahead and set them to search and destroy. 
And what kind of weapons do you guys have? Are you guys all like rocking sniper rifles? Yeah, okay, they're rocking the really good. The Amban, is that what they're called? Amban sniper rifles. What do you have? You have an E, uh, okay, all sniper rifles of Mandalorian make. Okay, you guys are taking cover. You guys are moving in pretty close. Uh, I don't know why you've decided to melee. Oh no! <laughs> he tried to crawl as far as he could. Oh my gosh, the rocket launcher. Oh, you, you crawled into their base. You were just meleeing a turret. I don't know why they got up into melee range. Grill, you're like the only one that's up. And this is going to be another lost cause. Hiring pirate mercenaries to do their AI versus the AI. It's not the way to go. Okay. Durgo has lost enough money here. We are. We're going to load up our folks. We have like our squad. Uh, oh, why are you? Oh, you're the... Uh, let's not send the terrific. We also have, so that's four mercs. Let's do, I guess, the five of you. Well, not you. Um, so that's four more. Let's get a melee person in there. Oh, we do. We already have a melee person in there. I guess we'll send in a droid and we will send in GB again to pilot. So that's two, four, five. And then five, so that is good. Let's bring... We don't have very many meals to bring, I guess. You guys will just eat there. Well, it's been too recent, so we can't attack them right now. <laughs> um, I guess we could clear out some of these other folks that are having giving us some problems. So let's drop into Bear Town at the Edge. We are here, and we are just going to load up GB right, right away again, except GB. Uh, this time, though, we're going to, like, park outside. Ooh, what? Uh, we arrived, and no one is here. The base was just, like, instantly destroyed. Okay, well then, let's cancel that load. We could do a little hunting while we're here, because... We are kind of light on food. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do where is it? Drafted hunt? Yes. Okay, zone. You guys should slaughter those, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's load you guys up. Let's bring the food. And let's get you guys home. Well, I don't know why that base was destroyed immediately. And we're, we're going to have to wait 20 hours, so we will check out and finish off that pirate camp that has cost Durgo quite a bit of cash uh, here in a little bit. Okay, we should be able to re-enter the pirate base now. Let's do our squad. Let's do Mercs. You guys, so that's for... I guess we'll send Gubia now that he is equipped with gear. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and GB, you will pilot for us. Uh, 
Okay. Back we go. <laughs> One last time, hopefully. Uh, drop it, Edge. Okay, GB is in. We are going to have him park right outside. Everyone else, let, let's find some cover. Mortar shells coming in. Big old mess. Okay, how many pirates do we see? We see five, but we know that they're wandering in and out. We have a Blurg Revenge on our map. Um, okay, you guys with the guns. Uh, head in this way. These turrets should help. Uh, oh, and we have we have so much stuff going on. Okay, let's sell this research. Oh, actually, you guys don't have very much. You guys don't have very much silver. Um, is there stuff that we want to buy from you? Not really. I guess we... Oh, those are our bionics. I was like, I guess we could buy these bionics. Um, oh, I guess we can buy your food since we are hunting for a reason. Uh, and then we sell this core. Ronto hide? Mm, not quite. Uh... Oh, actually, no, that was fine. I don't... Oh, that's the Reptivian. Uh, let's do the Ronto. Cool. And then our droids are wearing propulsion jets and armor. So let's have you jetpack over and then keep moving. Oh, you guys. Nina, will you go this way to get up here? Nug for we'll have you on search and destroy and we will just like follow you in. Does anyone have rocket launchers? Okay, you have a rocket launcher back there. Uh Nug for actually let's turn off search and destroy. Let's have you pop up this way. You guys pop up here. Uh let's check on this. Okay, you are getting into cover. You guys can be free to go, actually. Like, you should be able to take care of that. Okay. Uh, Nugfer, why don't you attack up here? You guys start taking out this rocket launcher. Oh, that rocket launcher is going off. Okay. Any more rocket launchers? Yes. Right there. Okay, you just, like, came out of... Came out of this area. Nugfer, I want you attacking her. She's, she's shooting into the shield right now, actually, so I think we're okay for now. Why don't you guys move into the shield? Got one off. Okay. More shields down here. Let's go ahead and finish off these turrets. Some aliens we haven't seen before. A Corrin. Uh, turrets. Any more? Okay. Nice. Finally did it. Uh, White, why don't you head up this way? Just have everyone pick a room. Speed you guys along. And a lot of nothing. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and do a stockpile zone. And we will fly our ship back in. Uh, zoom in. Let's land it like right there. Okay, let's load you guys up. Take what little loot we can. Sure, shells, steel, pears, any silver, lots of weapons. It's a lightsaber. <laughs> okay, we'll accept that. GB, you are free to go back here you guys are good 
Okay, so I think we finish up these turrets and then we'll work on our hypertech shield. So we did reorganize this room. I also reorganized this room a little bit as well so we could get a little extra growing in here. Um, we're growing a bunch of peas and carrots. So we have like a bonus for the carrots and the peas being nearby. We also have rice going. Uh, we're gonna grow cloth here. We'll grow rice in here. And then these two will be heal root, which we're pretty good on. I just wanna make sure that we're renewing our supply since we tend to have to uh, heal up our servants very frequently silver wise we are just at about enough silver to build this guy we should have cloth coming in uh, steel we have coming in plasteel we're mining down here so we should be good on our ships hopefully pretty soon and then I guess we'll do more pirates. We'll hire more mercenaries, but, uh, you know, they'll need supervision. So I'll be more active with them the next time we decide to bring mercenaries in. I think that's going to be it for today, though. Thanks for hanging out, as always. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.